What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape. Today I've got a couple of products I want to talk about. Uh, first thing that I'm going to do is unbox this, uh, or unwrap this quickie screed I got here from Pave Tool. Um, comes with a couple different pieces. We need it tomorrow, so I'm going to open this bad guy up and I figured I would go ahead and show you guys what we got here. I think this is going to help us out a ton. Uh, We'll find out, I guess, tomorrow how much how much quicker it makes things. But uh, I'll get this thing unwrapped and I'll show you guys exactly what we got here. All right, guys, you can see behind me, this unit comes with three different sections or three different uh, blades, if you want to call them that. Uh, it comes with a three-foot section, which is this one right here comes with a four and a half foot, which is this guy, and it comes with a six foot. So if you're doing a small walkway, you'd be using the three footer. Um, if you're doing a larger walkway or medium sized walkway, uh, in our case, this one's gonna be 48 inches. So we're gonna be using this guy tomorrow. Um, then you got your six footer, which you would use on your patios. So. I think uh, this will make things a little bit quicker rather than using a two by four, getting down on your hands and knees. Um, how this works, it's got some wing nuts right here and it's got uh, some bolts that are welded on to this handle piece. So you can see right there, that piece is welded on. So you can just pull your wing nut off and swap out your, uh, your blade or your head or whatever you want to call it. Two of those. And then right here, this is pretty cool. It's got the uh, adjustable piece for the handle. So you just loosen that and there's two nipples coming off of the handle. So you can just break these pieces apart here. You can see it moving. Can't do it with one hand, but that comes apart. You uh, adjust it, set it where you want it, and then you tighten this guy back up and you're ready to rock and roll. And then this, I don't know why it's not nice with this yet, but I'm assuming that this comes off if you want to here. Oh, it wasn't even locked in. Okay. Oh, that's pretty nice. Look at that. That thing gets pretty long. Wow, that's cool. I don't have a tape measure right here, so I don't know exactly how long that is, but that is long. That'll come in handy for sure. So that's adjustable. Yeah, this thing's gonna be nice. It's gonna save us some time for sure. So like I said guys, the pave tool and it's the quickie screed, I believe. Check them out. All right, now for these battery powered tools, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I was skeptical. I have the Milwaukee quick lock system. I have the hedge trimmer. See there, I have the uh, weed eater, which you can see here. I've got the edger, which is right there. And then I've got the chainsaw, which is what's on it right now. And this chainsaw, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I was a little skeptical. But just to show you kind of what it is. It's, it, so what this is is if you're a uh, lawn care guy, you know the steel combi system or the echo combi system, I don't know what echo calls it, but it's got a button right here and you can swap out your different heads. And it works super easy, just like that. One handed, that's off. And you can put something else on there. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was skeptical, uh, but after using this thing, it's a beast. Um, I'm probably, Averaging I would say about an hour uh, hour and 15 minutes per charge and that's running it uh, full throttle So it lasts a while um, if you're a commercial guy wanting to run it all day It uh, may not be your solution um, Unless you want to get a couple batteries, but for the occasional use stuff and uh, for the ways that I'm using it uh, Like I used this last week to cut down a little tree. It was probably six inches in diameter and probably 15 foot tall at the, at the tallest point, or at the peak. Um, and I had it all on the ground, limbed up in my trailer <clears throat> within 15 minutes. And that's probably 
just as good a time or uh, or better than what I could have done it with my steel pole saw. So for stuff like that, for uh, hedge trimming jobs, like I said, this is the uh, articulating hedge trimmer. So for a lot of the shrub trimming jobs we do, we may only trim six, eight, 12, 15, 20 shrubs, something like that. And uh, we can easily get that done in an hour. So I'd like to, uh, I'd like to get one of the handheld hedge trimmers and uh, see how that guy works. Um, Cause I really like this one, but as any combi system, um, they do get a little heavy from time to time. That's what I noticed with the weed eater. Um, it was a little bit heavier than I would like for a regular weed eater, but I know it's because it's the combi system. Uh, but as far as power goes, um, it, it works great. And as you can see, I mean, it's got, it's got grass on it. We do use it. Um, but it is a, a little bit heavier than you would like for a regular weed eater. Um, but like I said, any combi system is gonna be that way. Uh, but I do really think that battery powered stuff is making a huge leap. Um, this stuff, being able to run it uh, commercially and like we have and get the time out of it that we did, like I said, probably an hour and 15 minutes of straight run time. Um, and that's just on average and I'm not clocking this, I'm just, uh, guesstimating what we've gotten out of it um, and we haven't used it too much really we've only had it for a few weeks but so far that's what we're getting but i consider that pretty good off one battery uh, you could get probably say for what we do two batteries and uh, you could trim all day with it you know your residential houses of course you're not trimming for eight hours or we don't um, we do a lot more mowing than we do trimming but uh, for days like that or for stuff like that it does uh, work out really nice and it would work out really nice uh, if you're in the market for something like that. But um, like I said, I do think the battery powered equipment is uh, making, making big long strides here as of late and it's gonna be pretty cool to see where it goes. Um, you know, whenever I started in this industry, battery powered wasn't even really something that was talked about. It was either electric plug-in, which is what my first hedge trimmer was. Um, Use that, made money with that but uh, some of you guys wouldn't even fathom using a plug-in hedge trimmer, but hey, I did it, it worked. Um, so if you're doing that, don't knock it. Keep going till you can uh, afford something better. But I do think this battery powered stuff is making huge leaps and it is gonna be something I think in, uh, in my career, um, before I retire, it's gonna be something that I think will probably switch to, um, at least for certain things, maybe, maybe not for everything. Um, and I do think it's probably going to be a long time before a uh, electric lawnmower that can do what uh, what our Ferrises can do. Um, I don't know about those guys going electric, but as far as the blowers, uh, weed eaters, hedge trimmers, chainsaws, stuff like that, I can I can definitely see that stuff going to battery powered. And uh, you know, after using this stuff, I'd be perfectly fine with it. If uh, if you could just have a couple more batteries, or uh, or maybe a, you know they're going to come out with with not maybe eventually they will come out with a better battery, uh, but for now that's what we got and like I said I think it's fine, it's uh, it's been nice and it, what's cool about it is you don't have to. What I like about the trimmer is whenever you're using it as a weed eater, you don't have to pull anything. There's no starting. There's no fueling up. You just grab it off the trailer and you walk away and. You know, when you're walking, say, from tree to tree, or you're walking from one place that you need to trim to the next, you're not sitting there holding the vibrating, you know, unit that's running, that's got fumes going in your face. There's no noise, no nothing. You're just holding it, walk to the next place. As soon as you hit the trigger, it fires up. Um, so it, it's cool. I do like it for sure. Um, and it's nice to not have those fumes, not having to fuel up, not having to pull it to start it. So it will be something uh, that I'll have my eye on and that uh, I'll be watching. And like I said, I do think it will take over eventually. So I wanted to put this out there for anybody uh, in the market for a hedge trimmer or uh, a weed eater, or a regular trimmer, whatever you want to call it, something of that nature. Um, if you're debating a battery powered unit, um, depending on what you do, uh, but it may be the solution for you. And I think all in all over the lifetime of the unit, now I guess time will tell how long these last compared to a regular uh, combi system unit. Um, but I think that over time, if it lasts as long as the gas does, say my steel, say we're talking about just a regular weed eater, uh, battery powered Milwaukee weed eater versus a gas steel weed eater. 
if they last the same amount of time, you're gonna make more with the battery powered unit. It's a fact, you're not gonna have to put that fuel into it. You may have to buy a battery here and there, um, but not having to buy fuel and carburetors, guys. We know what happens with fuel, your carburetors clog up. So um, not having to have those maintenance items and uh, those maintenance receipts is gonna add up. So we'll see, I'll be monitoring this and uh, I'll share more with you guys as it develops. But I just wanted to share this, like I said, for somebody that's in the market that uh, is, is maybe a little bit lighter use, um, I think the battery stuff is getting there for sure. So uh, don't knock it till you try it. If you can get your hands on something, give it a shot. All right, guys, that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.